Hi, thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Hazel. I'm one of the CSM analysts here with FileCloud. Our, our webinar today is about what's new with FileCloud Web User Portal. And the topics are, of course, the new web user interface. I will uh, sh show you the new share window, the navigation preview, instant action bar for files and folders, infinite scrolling, dark mode comments. And I'll also be sharing with you the DRM feature, which includes the exporting of secure documents, opening with DRM viewer, managed access from user interface. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the web user interface. Now immediately, as you log into the web user interface, you will be routed to this screen right here. Now, please note that whatever you see on this screen, as well as the web user portal, is dependent on how your admin configures your login. Okay, so this, if you can see, this is already, or this already has a modern look. This portion right here, you can customize and change it to your company's logo. And for the language, you can already set the language prior to logging in. So previously, you are able to change the language. As you log into the customer portal, you go or to the, I mean, sorry, to the user portal, you go to settings and change the, the language there. But this time, you can already change it immediately as you log in. Okay, so let's proceed. All right, so once logged in, you can already see on the left pane, this is the, uh, what you call the um, quick view where you can actually have a preview to navigate a folder. So let's say I wanna see what's inside the My Files. So you can see the subfolders that's inside here. So this gives you easier access to the, to the folders that you have. Now you can also see here the recent documents that you have opened, as well as the um, starred documents, which are your favorites that you, you always access. And also you can see on this portion, the deleted files. Now you have also the option to hide or unhide this portion of the screen. It, uh, on the right side, it also is the same for the activity stat portion. You can still do the hide and unhide button. Now on the main screen of the dashboard of the web user interface, you can see the summary of your um, account. This includes the number of files, your number of folders, the, um, sorry, the uh, storage usage that you have already, uh, that you have already consumed, as well as the number of shared uh, files or the number of shares and the, the devices that are connected, if any. So this information was previously available on the old UI using the, I mean, under the settings button. So you, upon login, you go to settings, you see this information, but right now, immediately as you log in, you can already see this information available. And also the option to install the mobile and desktop applications is already available on the main screen of the web user interface, okay? And let me also mention that with the new UI, um, just by pointing uh, to the folder or document that you have, the file action option is already um, made available for you. So see, I wanna see what I can do with the test folder and you can already uh, see that it's already there. Um, the actions are already made available to you. Uh, previously, when you, uh, on our old UI, once you, click or choose the uh, folder, um, it will appear on the upper portion, the options. And of course, when you right click it, it's already, a, it's also available. The right click option is still available on this new um, user interface, but we are trying, uh, we are working on improving the user experience. That's why we have this option of just um, pointing to the um, document or file and the actions are already available to you, okay? Now let's explore further. We have also made some updates on our share window. Um, 
once you click on share, you'll see this portion right here. Okay, let me just remove the share so you can see what we have done here. Okay, so once you click on that and allow users, if you look at this portion right here, previously you can see invite guests. So to avoid any confusions, we've updated it to invite users since anyone who access or use FileCloud are called users, okay? So let's go ahead and share this document to this user and see what happens, okay? So let's focus our attention to the edit button right here. Um, we can already uh, customize or change up or update the message that the user will be receiving as soon as this email goes out to them when we are sharing files, okay? And also one good thing that we can also um, appreciate with a new user interface is that we can add multiple um, users here and still edit it at the same time. And once we click on add users to the share, all users will be sent those um, messaging that we have updated. And then, of course, we then edit or choose the sharing permissions that we, we will be providing the users to access the file, okay? And also may I mention that what's uh, good is that we have uh, an option to switch to the classic user interface with just two clicks. <laughs> so you just need to go to your profile and um, switch to classic UI. And then you're going, or then you're back to the old UI. Going back is the same two clicks, your profile, and switch to new UI. So it's as easy as one, two, not one, two, three. <laughs> so also that option is enabled or configured by the admin, okay? Now, since nowadays people are into dark mode, let me also know, um, inform all of you that the dark mode option is also available with File Cloud. You just need to go to settings, and under themes, you can go dark or light, depending on your preference, okay? So that's how um, we configure the dark mode with file cloud as one of the new uh, features or um, new enhancements that we have. All right, so let's go ahead and um, go into the details of DRM or what we call digital right management. Now with DRM, um, this allows users of FileCloud share, to share ex, uh, files to external users securely. So we can already share files to outside the organization without the fear of um, uh, being able to share it without any um, security. This time it's securely shared to them through our DRM feature. So how it is done is that once you select a file, oh and also may I mention that this option is available for Word, PDF, and text files. Okay, so once you have selected the file, so if, you, if you can see this is a PDF file, you just go to export secure document. So what it will do is that it will download the file as a container file, and this can be is this can only be accessed um, through a secure viewer. Now immediately after the download, it will it will uh, pop up a screen with a key to access the file. The key is very important because this is what you will be using to access the file. And it will also give the messaging to the recipient on how to access the file and how to download or the download link to the secure document viewer is also made available to them. And of course, the link at, that I mentioned earlier. Now, right now, it's being configured to enable secure view. We also have the other options to enable screenshot or screen share available for Windows only, enable print, and what's good is that you can actually monitor the number of 
access those uh, to the shared file. And you can even nominate as to how many times they can access the file. So let's start with enable secure view and see what it does or how it will look on your end, okay? So I'll be opening the file now. And while I open the file, it will then ask for the access key. Okay, then it will check for permissions. Now, once permissions is checked, and since enable secure view is um, checked, what will happen is that on your end, you can only either see the last screen that I was showing or a blank screen at all. And for some, they will see black screen. So that's the enable secure view function that's working right now. You're not able to see anything, okay? Or anything that's related to the file that I'm sharing, you're not able to see right now. Now, let's go ahead and choose the other option. Let's uncheck the enable secure view. Instead, enable screenshot and screen share, as well as enable print. And if you can see, it already counted the number of access. So let's go ahead and do the um, other options. Still, it's checking for permission after I in input the key. And right now, you're already able to see the entire document. And also, the print button is already available. So that's how um, enabling secure files, as well as enabling um, screen share and screenshots are working with this DRM feature, okay? So as long as enable secure view is uh, checked, the option, that option, uh, whenever you are sharing a file, the other person who's viewing it on their end can either see a blank screen, a white screen, or the previous screen that user is um, showing, okay? In, that, in the case that that screen is not secure view enabled, okay? So right now I can entertain your questions. And you can just type your questions on the Q&A button and I'll be happy to answer that for you. I'll be here for a few minutes to wait for you if you have any questions, okay? Now, while waiting for your questions, please let me allow me to share um, some important links that you can, uh, I mean, that might be helpful for you. Should you wish to reach out to our support team, please take note of this link, help.codelaith.com, and submit a ticket. Once the ticket is submitted, a uh, ticket number will be generated, and that's how you will be tracking your ticket, and our support team will reach out to you as soon as they're available. Okay? Now, we also have our um, documentations page, or um, for this one, it's getfalcloud.com slash support documents or support docs. In here, you can find some useful documents that can help you maximize or help you explore more your, on your FileCloud subscription, okay? And also, uh, we have our tutorial videos page. This is where we upload some of our webinars um, that we have already conducted. And this also contains useful information to maximize your file cloud usage. We'd also like to invite you to join and register to our webinar sessions. This is where you can find it. And should you want to join a webinar, however your schedule does not permit, we still encourage you to register because anyways, um, all, all of those who registered will be receiving a recording of the webinar that you have registered, okay? Seems that we don't have any questions. Again, thank you all for joining today's webinar. My name is Hazel and you have a great day.